hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to create the attribute routing with parameters and here we got the output after adding some routing functionality now I'm clicking India notice here the URL state name 1 which is the CID country ID before this is the URL path we got the question mark CID is equals to 2 now here we got the state name 1 let's add some multiple parameters I want to display the country name also here we got the new output I'm selecting the country name India and notice the URL path the country name is also added and the country ID is 1 before we have only single parameter which is a country ID now we added multiple parameters one is a country name and the country ID also let's check the second country name USA so USA the country ID is 2 if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates in my previous video I have showed working with multiple tables in MVC and this is the output of the code right now in this index page contains a country names with the hyperlinks when I click any of the country name we'll get the state names of that country in the state name view page and notice the URL path is question mark CID is equals to 2 which is a basic URL path now I want to make this URL with a user friendly routing in MVC let's open the coding part and this is a coding part we have just seen the output on the browser the end of this video tutorial you will get a link working with multiple tables in MVC video tutorial ok let's add the routing functionality to this application open route config.cs file and this is a basic route config file when we create a project now in this register routes method I'm adding routes dot map mvc attribute routes is a method after adding this method go to the controller we are passing variables from index page to the state name view page so here I am adding a route between double quotes I am adding a new URL path which is a view page name you can add any user friendly name instead of state name but for this example I am adding the state name only slash between curly braces I am adding the column name the CID that's it index.cshtml google chrome and here we got the output after adding some routing functionality now I'm clicking India notice here the URL state name 1 which is the CID country ID before this is the URL path we got the question mark CID is equals to 2 now here we got the state name 1 let's add some multiple parameters I want to display the country name also I'm stop debugging switch to the controller slash between curly braces I'm adding C name the column name C name switch to the index.cshtml here I want to display 
comma c name is equals to item dot c name that's it we have added the country name also in the url path google chrome here we got the new output i'm selecting the country name india and notice the url path the country name is also added and the country id is one before we have only single parameter which is a country id now we added multiple parameters one is a country name and the country id also let's check the second country name usa so usa the country id is two that's it